getting off to a topic in which I was born in a generation in which kids are everywhere, a lot of reckless. It's making me not want to go out more. Let me just start off simple. The country today. As we know it from 50 years ago, it was all fun and games until now it has become ghetto, all about something that becomes cool and yet to other people it does not seem totally interesting because it is just small, it looks cool, but I don't put my mind to it too much because it doesn't seem like a very big skill to me. When you cuss too much, you don't sound cool at all, nothing goes good for that at all. We use cussing to make a point, right? But then there comes this moment when you use it too much. You know, there's a lot of these ghetto kids that come around the neighborhood and just say whatever the hell they want to and be like this. You bums. Hang out with you. Or kiss my. Suck my. There's like way more emphasis on how you will hear that when you're on the street. And I'm being honest. I'm influenced to this too. But I don't talk like that. Even my friends say that I am not like that at all. Even though when I try to talk like that, I am not like that at all. And I don't want to be like that because I don't even look like that. Well, you can't technically judge somebody by their appearance. Even though they look emo, you can't just say, oh, this guy, this guy, I don't want to hang out with him anymore. The next thing we're going to talk about is the corruption in the USA. Because we're picking a new president this year. And Obama was a great president. And now he's leaving office, and now we got to pick for either Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, or Donald Trump. I never knew this much about Donald Trump because this is what I asked in my third period class. Everybody kept coming up with this guy, and they, they said Donald Trump, Donald Trump. I, I, I definitely asked this in class, and I'm not lying about this at all. I never knew who he was, I just literally asked. Who's Donald Trump? And everybody was surprised at me because I didn't know who he was. See, I'm this person that like doesn't go out a lot and I'm just home because there's a lot of busy stuff to do. I've been doing yard work. He's racist to Mexicans. I've already seen enough that he's a bad dude. He's gonna build a wall. He's gonna let them pay for it. And uh, like he's gonna let them stay there, kick him out of the country. That's not right. His net worth he makes $4 billion. I wouldn't know if he would use it to use it for charity for anything. He's a billionaire. And then my teacher says he doesn't have any political experience. I get that. Just because you wear a suit and you speak a lot of English doesn't mean you're good with politics. This is what my dad told me. I don't have to speak a lot of English because a man who has a brain can be intelligent. You don't have to speak a lot of English to be that good person. It does not matter about your accent at all. All you have to do is be smart with your decision making when you're gonna become president. Then this is a hard job. I know you're not gonna be president one day. Because on how I see you at home, you're very lazy. And I say, no, I'm not lazy, but you know how I tell you guys the story. If you're gonna use your power just to abuse it over a country, if this Donald Trump guy is watching me right now, I would just say this to him. You better not become president. Next is police brutality. Now, I've seen a lot of stuff about this on the internet. This one guy who had mental illness, he was running down by the street and these two cops were chasing him. I saw them beat him down with their batons. Why would they do that? A guy, a guy running? If you guys watch David Sill Comedy's channel, you would see two of his uploads containing these uh, police type of stuff that happened. One was a 62-year-old Korean lady who was tackled by these two policemen who had help with another four people and now she's gonna sue LA. Two other black people were killed. Their name was Alton Sterling and Philandro Castile. These two African-American males were killed point blank and it was an eyewitness. Shout out to David Sill Comedy because he has a lot of stuff that you guys really need to know. Police brutality is becoming something very dangerous. Like what David So Comedy said, just because you have a badge doesn't mean like you can't just use it to abuse somebody. They're not getting taken off with what they're doing. That's bull This world's gonna come to an end. Or not unlike the way I see it. It's not gonna get fixed any sooner or later. Well, peace out you guys. See you in the next one.